Hey folks, for those of you who follow this channel closely, we'll know that I've been playing around with a lot of IRC kind of stuff uh, lately, as well as of course the fact that I've been streaming uh, on Twitch a lot as well. Uh, so today I would like to talk a little bit about the combination of both IRC and Twitch and just demonstrate how you can actually use the Twitch chat, so that's the chat uh, column in Twitch streams, via your IRC client and it's actually quite an interesting procedure because it doesn't involve apps or bridges or anything like that it actually the chat client or the chat protocol in Twitch is actually compatible properly compatible with IRC uh, so today I'm just going to talk you through a little bit of the process and do a bit of a demonstration. This isn't going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial because I've got it already set up um, and good to go. And as you can see, I've got my hex chat, which is my IRC client of choice. It's the one that comes with Manjaro. Obviously, there are plenty out there. It's one of the great things about IRC is that you can choose almost any client on any platform. It's that, that kind of uh, universal appeal is one of the factors I like about it, on top of the fact that, of course, it's text only for the most part. There is some uh, text formatting and on a sort of somewhat minor level, but for the most part, it is a, a plain, it's multiplayer notepad, multiplayer notepad, and 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 it's a good example of why keeping things simple is sometimes uh, sometimes one of the best ways of doing things because you sort of know where you stand with it, um, and uh, and it's more accessible in more capacities, more useful in more ways, and all that kind of stuff. And I've talked about the idea of, of sort of technical minimalism or technical reductionism uh, in in the past, especially when it comes to my Neo Cities website. And this is another good example of, of why it can be useful because it it does broaden its application when you do uh, re when you do take a look at a problem, and you you sort of find the most straightforward and efficient way of solving it uh and and um and you do and, and, and irc is often you know the answer to those kind of questions especially when you look at the fact that irc itself it's a very old protocol predates the world wide web interestingly enough and um you know something that's been around for a long time has clearly proven its worth in terms of its usefulness its uh, resilience against the various challenges over the years that it that it uh, that it'll face that it faces so with all that in mind uh, i'm just going to demonstrate how uh, i've gotten Twitch uh, working through uh, HexChat and uh, obviously you can do the same at home but of course you if you use a different client you may of course or probably will of course need to adjust your um, procedure accordingly. It was a very straightforward process because it does seem for the most part that the uh, Twitch chat is fully compatible with IRC. Um, there is a few small differences which I will go through. This won't be a step-by-step -step tutorial, um, largely because everyone's got their own choice of clients and I'm not going to be able to cover everyone's. But if I sort of just demonstrate how straightforward the process is, I'm sure you guys would be able to find uh, something that works for you. I'll also um, introduce you to this guide here, and I will of course put a link to it down in the description, which does give you some, uh, some of the important information required in order to connect to your Twitch channel or to any Twitch channel. So if you go down to the client information, and this is where some of the most important information is, uh, your IRC nickname is your Twitch username all in lower case, uh, all in all in lower case. Your server is irc.chat.twitch.tv and your port is 6667 or 6697 on SSL. Uh, the chat servers also listen to ports um, 80 and 443 on SSL so you can use those if you are in a restrictive network. Now I've not tried out those, I've only tried out 6667 and 6697 uh, and the server password is your OAuth token from the previous section. So the previous section talks a little bit about how you can get a uh, OAuth token so that you can then log in using IRC. Uh, it's quite a straightforward process, you just go to the OAuth password generator and again I will link this down to, uh, in the description below it is also linked in the tutorial itself and uh, you just uh, um, you just sign in with your Twitch account um, and then um, it basically generates an OAuth token that you can use as your IRC password uh, every time you generate a new OAuth token it invalidates the previous one um, so um, that is for of course additional security and all that 
So, but bear that in mind, of course, um, when generating your token, that every time you do generate a new token, your previous previous ones will be invalidated. Um, and then you can just add in all that information into your IRC client like HexChat. So if we go into HexChat here, and as you can see, I've got, I'm already signed in to the Twitch server. I, I'm um, uh, already in my channel, Hamish's channel, Hex's channel, and Heather's channel. Uh, and uh, it's all quite straightforward. And joining a channel is as simple as joining any other channel in any other IRC network. So in HexChat, you will be familiar, of course, with the network list. This is the list of all the IRC networks that you can connect to if you so wish. And I'm going to go to Twitch, and I'm just going to show you the settings that I've put in here. So I've got irc.chat.twitch.tv forward slash 6697 um, right here at the top. Uh, and this, um, these are largely the default settings. Now, because I decided to connect with uh, SSL, I had to check this box here, use SSL for all the servers on this network. If I connect with port 6667, uh, this button here needs to be unchecked. So that's just, uh, uh, that's just the only difference that I made. The password down here is the OAuth token. And my username here and my nickname here are both uh, my Twitch usernames. Uh, so it really is as simple as that. The, uh, the, uh, I left the password login method as default. You can, if you want to, select it to forward slash pass, I believe. I think the tutorial says to do that, but you, but it works on default for me, uh, which, is, uh, which is great. So it seems to have um, picked that up automatically. And then you very simply just connect in as I have done here. And then I can go into like Chris Ware, for example. I can type hello. And then if I go back up to my Twitch channel here, you'll see that I have said hello. So it comes across. And then I can even, oh, I can't actually reply back because I'm not currently logged in on this browser. But it does work two ways. You can read messages as well as, uh, as write them. So yeah, it does seem to work pretty seamlessly in that regard. The only difference being that you require the OAuth uh, auth authentication method rather than just using your regular password. This is, of course, for um, you know added security and all that. Um, but uh, generating an OAuth password is as easy as just signing in with Twitch here. Um, so yeah, of course, I will link to this guide down in the description below because it does cover the ins and outs of it a little bit more comprehensively. It was actually written in 2013, but has been updated in 2016 uh, to cover the new uh, IRC server, addre uh, server address, irc.chat.twitch.tv. So I think that's about everything. But just to sum up, yeah, it is remarkably easy to sign into a Twitch channel using your IRC client. And it's nice to see the technology being put to some interesting use as well. So uh, yeah, feel free to check out my uh, Twitch uh, IRC, of course, um, hash Chris where in the Twitch server, but also I do have a room, of course, on Freenode, which you guys can check out there. Uh, hashtag Chris Ware on Freenode. So I think that's about it from me today. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, feel free to leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.